So the next few minutes with uh, four people listening and either uh, very interested or not liking the other talks. Did uh, any of you very interested? Did uh, the end use uh,
databases. So I thought, why not store the thing in the database instead? I'm doing with dealing with the database already. There is nothing that can do that currently uh, when I started it. There is IDE DDI, but that is mainly written to make accessing the database faster instead of writing to it. So it's not a simple drop in what I wanted. It was just a thought. The, the thought happened a long time ago, but it's a simple drop in. It's immediate relief of memory, it's persistence made easy. You don't delete the table in as well, and it's easy to transfer to another machine. That doesn't happen anymore because it's in the database. So, unless you, you uh, delete the table, you don't have to uh, transfer the machine because it's still in the database. So, that part's easy. Disadvantages, it's still slow, your mileage may vary, and because I didn't implement it yet, I couldn't measure the count. But I will come to that back. You still have a lot of depth, and you lost magic memory coding. But the solutions to that are the same as for DB file. Use storable or some other stream. So, the proof of concept. What I implemented was this. You can tie a hash using tie hash db and give it a DSM. Just like you would uh, use for connect. Or you use an existing database handle. So if you are already using a database handle, you just pass it in the or you make a uh, database handle with uh, values that do not match the default. So this way you can specify the table that will use in the database and you can use that table in another process to, you, to share the hash. Moreover, if you have this in a database, you have another process, you can share the hash because it's the database. The database will take care of the locking and the sharing. So this is possible to make two processes share remote hash. Then you do it the same way as normal. Would it, would it create the table if it's a database? Yes. 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 But it will use it if it exists. So yeah. if, you, if you tell it that table to use, it will use it. Otherwise, you will create a temporary table and remove it off. And you can make a set of tables that are in the same yes. way this table. Comparing models. Um, I've shown you a list of uh, modules and what is the performance. Because now I created it, it works. Well, does it uh, meet my uh, expectations? It, it will be slower than memory. It will be slower than DB file in my expectation. So, I created a uh, small script. and 
what it takes to get it back. And if it gets too slow, I stop. Because I, if you, I also use CSV. As you can imagine, that you know, the DNA CSV is just a proof of concept. Would it work? Yes, it works. But it's slow. It's disk over disk with a DBI interface. So that wouldn't work very well. But I just want to prove that it doesn't work very well, but works in theory. And then I print uh, the results, which will end up with this nice table. So, small meshes, this is the, the higher the number, the better. It's the throughput in seconds of records. So, DB file will do 38,000 relists, which is specially created for this aim to store key value pairs. And relist isn't very nice on UTF-8. Be careful. Uh, SQL White was my big uh, fun factor. It really, 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 really performs well. It's not even that much worse than. And it used a real DBI interface. So for my customer, I switched from being fun to SQL White and the process back to 40 minutes. Reads is funny. Look at these numbers for reads. If you have large, huge hashes, it's really worth looking into the specialized function today. Cache is fantastic. Uh, Postgres. Very consistent. It doesn't matter how long your mesh is, it performs the same. But watch it. If you're moving your server over to another host, it drops. It still works, but if your host is on another machine, it drops. My simple, small hashes works fine. <laughs> it crawls to a snail. Remote MySQL. Same uh, image as Postgres. We want to support CSV. It works. I was amazed that it really, really, really works. Oracle. I got so many different numbers that I don't know how I should interpret them. With this, too much numbers, it doesn't visualize very well. Um, let's read this. The bigger your hashes, it works. This is comparing really, and the higher it is faster. But we want to see this part, because it's now. There you see that uh, this is Postgres. Let's see the light. And that Postgres is about twice as fast as Oracle. And we know So they don't do very bad. It's, and it's consistent, the database is very much consistent along the line. It doesn't drop off. It's almost a straight line after your hashes go over to a minimum. Right. This is a write. So small writes, the problem with reads and writes in small hashes about 20. The overhead of DBI is much higher than with large hashes. You have to set up the table, you have to drop uh, the table, you have to set up the locking and so on and so on. SQLite is dropping a bit, the rest is, is fine. And SQLite is much higher than the rest. Zooming into the bottom. CSV. Good, again. Readings uh, and Postgres are following very well, very nice. So, I did the hash. How would it work for an array? Right, array. It was just, I managed to do the hash. Why not do an array? Who ever tried an array? Not funny. Don't try to make one. Who knows what this does? I don't remember exactly, but 
values, the insert, if we remove the other two keys, the insert. Um, yeah, but which two keys are removed? It's a uh, sprite that array that offset two, but the last two items of that offset, or there is a very, you have to read the documentation, and everything can be plus, plus and minus, and it, to implement that is really, really, really annoying, but it all works. And in 511 and all, you have keys of an array and values of an array, which is for easy. I can if you are interested. But it, it's really, it is worthwhile to, to look at it if you want to do uh, databases and uh, time caches to, to use it and experiment on it. For the uh, array example, uh, the structure of the table of the database is it just an integer column and then the value? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Uh -huh. 